Hello everybody, this is Jessica with Stamped Blessings. Super excited to bring you today a new project with the Paper Pumpkin Kit Bouquet of Hope. Here we are to cheer the brokenhearted and to connect my friends to Jesus. That is my passion and that is why I stamp. Today I have a particular word to share with you at the end of this video, so I hope that you really stick with me. As I've been praying for you, I've been praying for the nation, and I've been praying for so many things that are going on around us. But there is a craft that I have for you with this kit, and I believe that you could certainly use this kit to bring hope and to bring a message to those who you who are in this sphere of influence that you work so please let's go turn my camera around let's start stamping and let's start sharing the love of Christ through what we do okay, okay gonna... so we have the paper pumpkin kit bouquet of hope and as last week I brought some ideas today I was maybe supposed to use some of what is in here but this bouquet of flowers this particular stamp set it's really really on my heart and I've been praying this morning and asking the Lord to give me a particular project I had something totally different to post for today but i will leave it for tomorrow and that will be about the butterfly bouquet that it's coming available the second of march okay i made a premiere and it premieres tomorrow at 11 a.m on my youtube channel stamp a blessing so do not miss that okay just go over there set a reminder so that by 11 a.m tomorrow eastern time you watch all the projects that i created with this beautiful set that it will become available tomorrow in the stamping up store so i hope that you enjoy that this was my plan for today, but this morning as I woke and I was praying, I said, Lord, do you have a particular word for my lady student? Do you have a particular project for there today? And I just kept going and going and practicing. You know what? Let's stamp. And as I stamp, I will share what the Lord placed in my heart. And at the end, I'll read the Bible and I hope it blesses you as much as it blessed me. This particular kit coordinated with one of the celebration beautiful papers that I know many of you got. Many, many of my customers actually went and got this paper. I'm so grateful, so thankful for all of your support. And I know many of my followers have it as well. It's called the Flower and Feel. Now, today's project, you can use whatever designer's paper you have. You know that I love inspiring you to use what you have. So if you don't have this one, go find another one. It doesn't really matter. Let's start, okay? I'm going to move this to the side. For this particular project, you will be needing a cardstock that is um, eight and a half by five and a half. This is eight and a half by five and a half. And you will be scoring in the middle at four and a quarter where you will be able to bend or fold your card. We have the card base. And then I want you to go ahead and cut a piece of cardstock that is five and a quarter by four. This is five and a quarter by four okay this is what you need you will also need a little tiny piece of this signer shears paper any works okay i am using the just now retired celebration um paper that coordinates with this kit the field and flower but you can use anything you have at home this is a three-fourth of an inch by four you see it goes perfectly with this four by five and a quarter inch piece of basic cardstock. And then what else do I have? Blah, 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 blah. I think that's it. Okay, so when you take this, I'll show you. I'm gonna bring my favorite liquid glue right here, my Tombow adhesive, and you are going to take this little strip and you will glue it to the bottom of your first and only layer really on this card. You will put it down here. When that is done, I will be a little bit more ambitious this time and I will introduce to you the rectangle stitch framelits dies, okay? This ones I think are the type of dies that I framelits. I love framelits that make a frame. Any, any, any die that make a frame, I love, okay? Because it means that I can stamp inside of it. I love thinlets, don't get me wrong, I love many of them you'll see them tomorrow in my premiere at 11 a.m the butterflies have thin lids and also some these are thin lids you see they have little holes and these ones are framelits and the brilliant wings come with both i love both but this is so easy they're so easy okay because it's a frame now for this one we will be using the big one or the biggest rectangle stitch and it's almost almost the same size as a five and a quarter by a four now when it actually cuts it it makes it a teeny bit smaller as you see the cutting blade is right here so it just makes it a little smaller 
smaller. But when you pass it through your stamping, not your stamping, your stamping up and and cut, you will be able to have a rectangle like this, okay? And I want you to see the beautiful detail on this side because it has that stitch. I love everything stitchy. <laughs> I really like that. And I went ahead and I did several, as you can tell, that are going to become the top of my card. Okay, now let's keep moving along because I wanna share with you this quickly. And I brought my wonderful, wonderful friend, my Stamparatus. And why in the world I brought my Stamparatus? <laughs> <laughs> because I think you're gonna love it. Now, I'm going to use a, um, one of this, well, this is the Butterfly Brilliance. It's coming tomorrow. You know you're gonna watch that preview because I'm so excited. But I'm gonna use it because it's gonna hold this side of my Stamparatus. It's like the perfect size, okay? Any box that is, that is holding a clean stamp set from Stamping Up would be totally fine. I positioned my stamp in here for a reason already, and I took a piece of scrap paper, this is just scrap paper, blah, 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 and I put it right on the corner, okay? And then I made myself a line because I wanted to very uh, not, how do you say, it's not fancy, okay? I just took a piece of uh, a pencil and made a line because I wanted my card stock to go right there. I'm gonna hold it at the top and I'm gonna hold it right here at the bottom with my magnets. Try not to get them together. It's really hard to get them separate, okay? Now, I'm gonna bring my cherry cobbler and for all of these cards, I'm using the cherry cobbler. And I'm going to ink my flower here, really nice, my bouquet. Next week, I'm planning on bringing some techniques with this. But for today, super simple card that you can make many, many times. Now, it has a twist, so don't miss the twist because it's part of the message today, okay? I'm super excited with what the Lord is doing. And I love when I pray, you wake up praying, you take a shower praying, you're having breakfast praying, and you're like, Lord, if you don't give me something, I'm not going live. <laughs> Those are my conversations with the Lord. <laughs> if you don't give me something, uh, hello, I am not going to be able to go live because I have this other plan. So if you have a better plan, please. And definitely, he always has a better plan than I do. And um, yeah, so here we are. I'm going to make at least three of them. And the coolest thing about this Stamparatus is that it allows you to make quick cards. Now, I do want that bouquet to go on the left side of my layer. Okay, and I want some of that to be out, as you can tell right here, okay? It's a little bit to the side. It just makes a nice perspective right there. I'll do one more. Again, I just left my little scratch paper there or scrap paper in there. I'm aligning this with a pencil line. Nothing too fancy. You don't have to be super fancy. You don't have to know a 100 techniques. You just have to be able to ink your stamp and go for it. <laughs> So these are some alternatives with this wonderful, wonderful bouquet. Uh-oh, what happened there? Let's try it again. You know, the coolest thing about the Stamparatus is that you can go back and stamp over the top of it again. So hopefully now stamp well. Ah, ta-da! <laughs> it's so good. That is the coolest thing, okay? So Jessica did not make a blooper. The blooper apparently was on purpose so that you could see what you can do with the Stamparatus. Now, I'm done with my Stamparatus for now. I will put my my cherry clubbers aside. I'm going to take some of this dimensionals and I'm going to be adding this right here. Again, these is a very uh, it's a very simple card. It's not too crazy, okay? But I think you're going to love the message and you're going to love the possibilities with it okay now this wonderful kit came with a wonderful um die cut that says thinking of you okay i'm gonna put this right in the center right there and i think i'll move this to the side so you can see it better there you go and it's just pretty simple now if i go look for my kit per se i want to show you something the kit per se comes with that thinking of you and you could certainly just put thinking of you on top but i i really like these cards i plan to make them exactly as they are okay and i don't know what is okay i'm just gonna keep going so i wanted to bring one more thing and it's one of my favorites favorites um die cuts and it's the Playful Alphabets dies, okay? And we are going to play here for a second. So don't leave me, don't leave me. Let's just put this ones together real fast. 
You see, I'm making my own background music, but the idea is just to complete a few of these cards today really fast with you. I am so excited. You know when the Lord gives you a word that just resonates, that just calls you to attention, and you are like, oh my dear, this just goes so well. Well, let me start by telling you this. While I was praying this morning, I woke up early, I was on time, I was making breakfast for my kiddos. Hey, that doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes you send them for cereal. But this time I said, you know what, I'm going to do things right. I'm going to make some oatmeal, some eggs, some bacon, and I'm cooking. But while I'm cooking, I'm praying. And I'm praying, Lord, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to just post the premieres, do the premiere for butterflies uh, collections? Or do you want me to um, bring something in particular today? You know, because um, if you give me a project and you give me a word, I'll go live. You know, um, if I don't have anything to give my ladies, it's hard to come. <laughs> it's hard to come live. But I just prayed about it. And I kept praying. And I've been praying since I woke up this morning at about 6.40-ish in the morning. I've just been praying. Lord, I, I need your word. What do you have for my ladies today? I pray for each of them. I pray that your word ministers to them. Okay, so while I'm praying, this, this song that I have not heard, no joke, I have not heard this song in weeks or months, okay? This song comes to my mind. And as I am on it, let me move this here so you see what I'm doing. Let me show you what I'm doing. This, my dears, is the foam adhesive sheets, okay? I have a bunch right here. Aha. And you see what I'm going to be doing, right? I already made the slow down card not long ago, and I love it, and I kept it on my windowsill because I need to slow down. I need to, I need to breathe. Every once in a while, today's not the day. I need to rush. <laughs> I need to bring you the project. But um, a few weeks ago, we made this card together. And I want to bring a different message today. Slow down was a good one. I keep it right there because Jessica needs a little reminder every once in a while. And since I use cherry cobbler on my flower right here, I'm going to use cherry cobbler as well for this. So what I plan on doing is that I'm going to cut a piece of cardstock that is about the same size as my as my foam okay so happy he gave you the idea yes he is so good i just love the lord i just love the lord i love when he you know what i believe that the lord is partnering partnering with us on earth he's just doing amazing things with us on earth so we just have to be willing to whatever he wants to do with us, okay? And I'm, I'm just sharing with you because that's how I feel. I feel like the Lord wants to partner with us. Even yesterday, I was telling the kids, one of my girls asked me, God, Mom, does God change his mind? And uh, does God sometimes changes his mind? And I thought, that is a very good question. And immediately, different stories in the Bible started coming, like the story of Jonah, when he had to go preach to Nineveh and there was a curse over Nineveh and they were going to be wiped out. But you know what? There was one man that par partnered with God and he brought the word to Nineveh and surprisingly Nineveh repented. That's not the message for today, but I just got distracted. <laughs> I just love the word. What happened was that Nineveh repented and Jonah was not even expecting that. And when Nineveh repented, God actually forgave them. And uh, they had, they had life, you know, they were forgiven. God is so amazing. God just amazes me over and over again. And, um, you know, Jonah was not super excited about that. <laughs> But I'm sure God was because God loves all people. And lately, my kids just make so many cool questions to me. I just love it when they're asking me great, great questions, right? And then he got me another word, the word from, I was telling my kiddos about this word of Ezekiel. When Ezekiel went to the Valley of Dry Bones, my ladies, um, he had to partner with God. God said, will these bones live? And Ezekiel said, I don't know. I don't know. And what did God tell Ezekiel? He told him, speak. Speak to the bones so that life may come. Speak to the wind so that life may come. And you know what? He had an army alive in front of him. That was a huge miracle. But Ezekiel had to partner with God. He had to be in agreement with God. And today you have to be in agreement with what he's doing in our, in our nation and with us, as stampers and everything. So I'm bringing this word, the word clean. Do you see it? How beautiful it is? 
And I'm going to put this work right here and I'm going to um, cut it, okay? Now, I could do this and I can do it a bunch of times. If you want to do a word several times, okay, I suggest you take a piece of tape and you just stick it together so that you can do it again and again. If you are doing it particularly in a card because you want to um, kind of make like a silhouette through, like you want to do this on the card, then I suggest you put them very, very straight. In this case, I'm not doing that. I just want to cut them. So let's do that really fast through here because there is a song that the Lord brought to my heart. And that song is sung by um, Natalie Grant. It's called Clean. And I started listening to the song. Actually, I started singing it while I was cooking. And I thought, hmm, this is interesting. I wonder what you are telling me with this song. Why is this song in my heart? I'm going to come back so that you can see it better right there. I'll put this on the side. And we're going to take this. And we're going to take this out. And we're going to get our word. I just love this. <laughs> God is so awesome. Okay, let me see. Da, da, da. I want my word out. I could do it the other way as well, right? Yeah, maybe it would be easier if I do it this way. What am I doing? Da, da, da. Why is it not coming as, as, as easy as last time? I don't know. Okay, that's cool. Da, da, da. Maybe I should just lift all this. You know, ladies, I'm live. You know how it goes when you're live. Da, da, da. Let me get all my letters out. Maybe the tape was not such a good idea. <laughs> Um, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Yeah, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Uh, the tun, 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 tun. Come on, why is it not coming like last time? Last time it was so simple, so easy with my slow down. You see, today it's just giving me a little trouble. It must be because I'm live. <laughs> That didn't work as pretty, but hey, it will work fine. Now, when I bring this one, I want to show you something. I went ahead and I printed the song because I wanted to show you the words and I wanted to you for you to be able to read it while I'm making this card, okay? And uh, it just really blessed me when I was singing it. It says, I see shattered, you see whole. You see it there? I see shattered, you see whole. I see broken, you see beautiful. I just love that. And you're helping me to believe. You're restoring me piece by piece. <laughs> God, it's so good. There's nothing too dirty. Hallelujah. That you can make worthy. You washed me in mercy. Hallelujah. I am clean. Oh, yes. There's nothing too dirty. That you can make worthy. You washed me in mercy. I am clean. And I need to stop for a second. I need to remind you of something. The enemy loves, loves to bring words to us of discouragement daily. Every single day, he brings word of discouragement to your life. Either for how you're performing or how you look or how bad you did. You know, the other day I was, I was, I was with my kids and what was it that it happened? I even forgot what happened. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I did something wrong. I think I um I think I got mad. I got real mad. Like 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 grumpy tantrum mad, okay? And um and I, I kind of responded like that and I give a bad example. And then the entire day I felt the devil was just telling me, There you are, the preacher, Jessica, there you are. You get mad and you lash out, blah, blah, blah. The entire day I had to come to the word and find myself with my Savior, the one who calls me clean. When I feel dirty, when I feel that I mess up, you know what? We are so, in our society, we are so into being organized and having everything clean and everything beautiful. Everything has to be perfect. You know what? God is not afraid of your messes. 
And this message, clean, it just touched my heart and I had to share it with you. The powerful thing you have is your talent. You have a talent. You can make simple cards to bring a powerful message. And I need you to get out of the boat. Yes, I started preaching already, but I need you to get out of your boat. And I need you not only to know that you can be clean, but I also need you to grab what you have and start making the own messages that the Lord is giving giving you. I need you to think for a moment, what is the message that the Lord is placing in your heart to bring? And I need you to bring it because we cannot be quiet anymore. Yeah, we do art. This is what we do. But we need to speak the word even in that, even in that. So I need to do one more, okay? One more word because this one is something that we all got to start doing, got to start doing right away. So I'm finding those letters there and I'm going to make one more word for you and for me. This song just, just, it just, it caused a revival in my heart because I feel the devil is just trying to destroy you and destroy me and destroy the church and destroy those who honor the Lord and who want what is right in our place. And you know what? This cannot be. We need to keep moving along, believing that God is going to do something fantastic. We need to believe what he is doing. Look at this part. What is dead now lives again. I just love that. My heart is beating, beating inside my chest. Oh, I'm coming alive with joy and destiny. Oh, because oh, you're restoring me piece by piece. He is restoring you and me. There's nothing too dirty <laughs> that you can make worthy. You wash me in mercy. I am clean, oh yeah. There's nothing too dirty. Sing it with me. That you can make worthy. You wash me in mercy. I am clean. I love the bridge. Can you see it? It says, wash in the blood of your sacrifice. Your blood flow red and make me white. My dirty rags are purified. I'm clean. I'm clean. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Wash in the blood of the sacrifice. Your blood flow red and made me white. My dirty rocks are purified and clean. The Lord is purifying us and he is calling us to purity. And I believe that our country has hope. So I want you, my ladies, I think everybody that watches my videos believes in Jesus and believes that there is great power in the blood of Jesus and believes that we have an amazing country and believes that great things can happen in this place. So I pray today that you send the message to people that you know that they feel dirty. Send them a message that they are clean by the blood of the Lamb. If you need people to pray with you, Go ahead and send them a card that says and encourages them to pray. If you need people to be reminded that they are washed in mercy, send them a word that says mercy. You have great power in your hands. And I want you to learn to make simple cards for fun, but also to send a message, a message that transforms the lives. And I believe that God is doing something amazing. I'm going to switch my camera. I want to bring a word from the Bible that goes with this and just stirred inside of me, his spirit and his love. I just sang the whole song. I didn't have that. I didn't have that in my mind to do so. But God is so faithful and so good. Look what his word says in James 4 verse 7. It says, submit yourselves then 
to God. This is James 4, 7. Submit yourself then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Come near to God and he will come near to you. That is written right there. You come near to God. He's going to come near to you. I want God near to me. Do you want God near to you? Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts. That is a calling for right now, for this time. We can do something. Purify your hearts, you double-minded. Grieve, mourn, and wail. Change your laughter to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord and He will lift you up. I need you to hear this word. Verse 11, brothers, do not slander one another. Anyone who speaks against his brother or judges him speaks against the law and judges it. When you judge the law, you're not keeping it, but sitting in judgment on it. There is only one lawgiver and judge, the one who is able to save and destroy. But you, who are you to judge your neighbor? And I ask my kids, what is slander? And my, my daughter came because I want them to know, you know, what is that? And my oldest said, Mama, that's talking bad about someone to ruin the reputation or the name that they have been known by. You know how many times we've done that this season through COVID-19? As a nation, we need to purify our hearts and our minds and our mouth. Then how do we do that? It's so good you ask. First Peter chapter 1 verse 22 says, Now that you have purified yourselves by obeying the truth, so that you have sincere love for your brothers, love one another deeply from the heart, for you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable seed through the living and enduring Word of God. Stay in the Word of God. I believe, and the Lord is really just confirming this to me day after day, that He is sending a wind to our nation. He's sending a wind that will blow and will blow strong, and it will take all the ashes. It will take all the trash. It will take all the tash. It will take the despair. It will take all the things that the enemy has been putting onto us as a nation. That wind is blowing and I need you to decree it with me that it will blow from the north and the south and the east and the west and it will bring purity. It will bring cleanness. It will bring holiness. Without holiness, nobody can see the Lord. So you and I, let's pray and let's purify our hearts and ask the Lord to bring that wind that will purify our land so that we can all see him. I love you, ladies. God is moving in your midst. God is moving in your life. And if you don't know what to do, I need you to purify your hearts for the Lord, seeking His Word, obeying the truth, and praying for our country. I love you. I'm on it. I'm not disconnected. I know what's going on around us. But I believe that if we humble, the Lord will lift us up. God bless you. I hope this inspires you. If it does, share it with others. Share the word of the Lord. Share the ideas. And most importantly, use your craft, your hands, to honor the Lord and to bring his word. I love you. I'll stay in touch. See you tomorrow during the premiere in YouTube on Stamp a Blessing for the Butterfly Collection. I'll be chatting with you at 11 a.m. tomorrow over there. So I hope you join me 11 a.m. Easter time. Thank you, my ladies. I love you and I'm praying for each and every one of you.